Welcome to this series, How Much Would That Cost? Today, I am joined by Nina, our office cat, and she's gonna help me give you some idea of how much it would be to change an old track light in your kitchen, your living room for pot lights. The first question we asked was, do I need to provide all the material? And they all agreed that yes, uh, please provide your pot lights and the wire. The amount of wire will be determined uh, by the distance between your pot light and the outlet. The wire that's commonly used is a WG wire, residential wire, but please confirm with your skill door before purchasing. The second question we had was, where do I put them? How do I know where they go on my ceiling? And the answer is wait until you have your skill door with you. Um, the location of the pot lights will be determined by your joists um, and your wish, of course. So the skill door is the best person to guide you through the location. Question number three was, what else do I need to know? And all of the skill doors um, just noted that the patching or repairing of the stain the old track light would leave is not included and you normally need to request for any patching and they would have to estimate it once they are on site. So we received three quotes, one for 190, the second one for 62 and 519. A pro tip here though is the quote for 190 did not include any details whatsoever. Jobjar makes it really easy for you to get multiple quotes and information regarding the skill door so you can make an educated decision. Remember to look for the Jobjar verified symbol and read their reviews. Go to jobjar.ca and just get it done.